Uh, he resigned late last week. Um, he's got some serious medical issues that he needs to take care of. He's going to take care of them off island. And uh, they've been uh, with him for some time, and he, he's going to go at it full time now to take care of those issues. So he's uh, leaving the island to do that. Dr. James Kiffer is talking about the resignation of mental health federal manager James Casey. Casey and Dr. Kiffer were appointed back in March of 2010 by District Court Judge Consuelo Marshall to carry out her orders for improvements of the adult services section of the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse. Although Dr. Kiffer says that Casey had medical issues, his resignation could have also had something to do with Assistant Attorney General David Highsmith's call for his removal. Highsmith made a motion to the courts to remove Mr. Casey, accusing him of, quote, not fulfilling his obligations as an officer of this court, mainly because his skills in relating to other people are seriously lacking, end quote. Highsmith also wrote that Casey, quote, cursed at patients and DMHSA staff, made female professionals cry, and insulted virtually everyone he works with. This may have been a tipping point or a point that just said, okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm, I'm going to go now uh, take care of myself. And uh, that, that could have been that, I do not know. Uh, you'd have to talk to Mr. Casey. Meanwhile, Attorney Daniel Summerfleck has filed a motion asking for the removal and replacement of both Casey and Dr. Kiffer. However, unlike Casey, Dr. Kiffer has no intentions of resigning. Well, I'm, I'm going to stay on. I mean, that's my intention. Um, Mr. Summerfleck uh, filed the motion. He's got several uh, items of concern that he has as, as to why he uh, filed that and would like a removal or replacement. Um, I'm going to answer those line by line and, and talk with the judge about it, and, and the judge will be making that determination. In his motion, Summerfleck accuses the FMT of being just as ineffective as the defendants were in bringing DMHSA and DISID into compliance with the permanent injunction, adding that plaintiffs are no better off today with the management team than they were two, four, or even ten years ago under the defendants' control. Dr. Kiffer doesn't agree with Summerflex's reasons for their removal. He believes that they have made a lot of progress, thanks to the team of professionals that the federal management team brought on board in November and December of last year. He suggested that very little of the um, money that's available has been spent, which simply is not true. I mean, he, he implies that all we've done is uh, pay the FMT salaries, and uh, uh, that that's simply not true, and that's, that's easily you know, refuted.